Good morning, everyone. It is another super early morning here in Agra. If you caught our last video, you'll know that we just finally visited the Taj Mahal, which was absolutely incredible. Now we are on our way to the train station because we are hopping on a first class train to Jaipur this morning. I don't think it's ever not busy at any Indian train station. It's like 5.30 in the morning right now, and it's packed with people going on all sorts of different places. It reminds me kind of like an airport. May I have your attention, please? Train number. That's very interesting. There's just a whole bunch of people just sleeping on the ground here in front of the train station. Maybe that's the easier thing to do than to like I actually think they might a night and I think they might be like vendors who like 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 this is kinda like their stomping grounds and yeah. they're sleeping. Because it's the middle of the night still so feels like. Maybe. Some of these trains like depart at three in the morning, so I mean maybe it's better to just sleep right here instead of taking a extra like hotel night or something like that. Although it's 5.30 now, so this should be gone by now. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> we are through security, which wasn't really much of security. You put your bag through like the x-ray machine, but like nobody's really looking at the monitor. And I just walk through with my camera straight to the metal detector. Nobody cares. <laughs> so now we're looking for our platform. A3. Luckily there are yeah, some A3. really big signs. A3. A3, okay. It's that number. So we have about 30 minutes until our train comes and I figure I'd tell you a little bit about the platform. It's actually quite busy for this time in the morning at 5.30. There are lots of people, some of them are just hanging out, some of them are just sleeping. There's some drinking fountains, although I don't know if I would trust it personally as a foreigner who's not used to kind of the water in this area. There are places like little snack shops and stores where you can buy water or you can buy snacks like Nicola's. Cookies and chips, what great snacks. This is why I don't usually resort to buying my snacks at the train station because I <laughs> have chips and cookies. It was this or like spicy masala chickpeas and I just wasn't in the mood for that. But, oh well. <laughs> doesn't bode well. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, so we pretty sure we're in the right spot, but someone was definitely sleeping here last night. So yeah, that's gross. Well, very first impressions of the first class train is that this is beautiful and perfect and it would be awesome for us. It's just dirty. <laughs> well, while well, we wait for our guy to clean up the uh, cabin, um, show you outside. You know, it's a little interesting. To be honest, there's not much to look at. A lot of garbage, some birds, and we some dogs. Thank you so much. But what I do like is the fact that we're in the train, which is air conditioned, because I'm not gonna lie, I was sweating like profusely while we were on that platform. <laughs> so gross. <laughs> okay, so the guy has left. Nicole is uh, at the door. I think she's gonna give us her first impressions of what the uh, first class cleaning is like. So, welcome to our newly cleaned bedding. We have new sheets, which is awesome, and I'm so thankful for them. But then we just have a folded blanket from the previous person, as well as the previous pillow from the previous person. So, you know, clean. I know this might sound like kind of first class problems, but <laughs> To be honest, the ticket is like far more expensive than like the oh. most basic or like the regular well, classes. Even the are next tier just one below. This yeah, is that's almost right. double the cost of the tier below it. Um, and while we are super happy to have like a private space, it's yeah. just the two of us in here, which is awesome, I was at least expecting a clean pillow. <laughs> All right. Well. Anyways, so Nicole's going to give us the rest of the uh, cope yeah. room tour. Room tour. All right, let's officially set the tour of the first class AC train from Agra to Jaipur. All right. So, as you can see, we have two bunks. We specially requested, it's called a coop, which means there's only two beds inside instead of four. So some cabins will have four, 
they're actually called cabins when you book them. But you can have like a preference that you'd like a coop. We got lucky and actually were assigned to that. I don't think that's always going to happen. We've got actually a really large mirror here. Look at this. This is like a nice. very legit mirror. Pretty nice. Pretty good, right? We've got a small table. There's actually also a trash can underneath it, which is a treat. We've got a curtain to block out the window, which is good because man, do I need a nap. <laughs> we did not sleep a lot last night. Another mirror, in case this one wasn't big enough. Towel rack with two hand towels on it. The light switches. Uh, I don't know what this one does. It does seems to do nothing. These ones turn on. Oh good, <laughs> turn on the lights. This is like the call bell, and I actually pressed that when we got in here to try to get the sheets cleaned, and somebody came. So I think it might even work. We've got an outlet and another outlet. All right, and then we've got the bed. Okay, so we've got a pillow, which is probably gonna go on the floor in a minute. We've got a personalized reading light. I saw the person on the top bunk also has the same reading light. And of course, views out the window. Hello, India. Cool. India does look very beautiful in the morning light. All right, and then, so we've got actually a curtain over here too. That's as far as it goes. <laughs> This is where person number two gets to sleep. We've also got a water bottle holder up here for the person who's sitting up top and a couple of hooks. I should also say that we've stashed our backpacks under here and there's actually like good enough room for both of our backpacks. All right. Behind our backpacks, we found trays. Yeah, so there's a little tray for eating or honestly, if you need to get a little bit of work done, this is the place to do it. Not exactly the exactly sturdiest, but it would work <laughs> in a pinch. Well, there you have it. This is our home for the next six hours, I think. I think so. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. Truly, it's not bad. I am. Um, I know. Maybe I sound like I'm complaining quite a lot. I do have a thing for cleanliness, so having it used pillow and blanket is kind of grossing me out. The rest I'm fine with. I don't mind dingy. It's okay. But when the, when the like sheets and bedding are gross and dirty, that's a tough one for me. We usually like to kind of keep things pretty budget, but we've had our fair share of like musky, smelly Airbnbs that you know, like was not clean before you got there. Yeah. So it's just still coming back to haunt us a little bit. Yeah, that is very true. We're we're a little uh, sensitive yeah. to that. I'm looking at you, Istanbul. Uh -huh. <laughs> Welcome to the Western style toilet on the first class train to Jaipur. Obviously the train's been going for a while. I don't know, I'm assuming it came from Delhi. I don't actually know where it came from, but it, uh, it no longer smells super clean. <laughs> but it doesn't, it honestly doesn't smell too, too bad. We've obviously got a nice big mirror here and a sink with running water. That's good. Soap, and I can see there's actually soap in that. We've got a window that's been locked so no one can see you in your business. And uh, I don't think I'm going to show you too closely this toilet. And we've got a bum gun sprayer again. There is a toilet paper roll, but there is no toilet paper in it. Hooks! Decent lighting. I can see everything pretty well. Oh, hey, there's a sign here. It says, fitted with bio toilet system. Do not throw any waste in toilet pan slash commode. Oh, maybe you can't put toilet paper down there. Not too bad at all. So I've just come up to show you guys the washroom. And one of the doors is open. I mean, this is way too much fun. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so cool. Wow, it makes like the whole viewing experience even more realistic. Because you can smell everything. Because you can smell everything. <laughs> I think I took like a three hour nap. So um, we have at least confirmed that this is a pretty good place to sleep. What I like about it is that like the temperature is really nice and the bed is actually like wide enough 
to not feel like you're gonna roll off it even though the train moves a little and I noticed that the train is like pretty like it doesn't take any crazy windy you know roads we've been on so many buses in the past six or seven months and they're really hard to sleep on because they'll take like sharp small roads right but here on the train like there's a lot of just straight and so you actually don't feel like you're gonna like fall off your little bunk and um, so I actually had a very wonderful sleep despite the fact that it's it's a little painful on the hips with the with the mattress but yeah, used to it. Cool. Jaipur looks very, very cool. Looks very similar to where we have just been, but uh, less dusty looking than yeah. Agra. I would agree. Too far. Looks, looks, a little, train looks a little greener. Mm. <laughs> Bye. Bye. You're so nice. Thanks for the great nap. <laughs> Touchdown in Jaipur. Welcome to Jaipur. <laughs> Looks pretty much the same as Agra. I actually would say it's cleaner so far though. Like the train station. It is, okay. does feel cleaner. If you guys saw our Agra train vlog, you know that when we got to Agra station and left, it was insane amount of taxis. One, two, three. We'll see if Jaipur train station is any different. I'm gonna go with no. We haven't even left the station. People have followed us from the platform, offering us taxi service. This uh, is never ending. I think it's just part of the India experience. Everybody ready? <laughs> So the other thing that we're trying to like accomplish here is grab some lunch because we are starving and uh, we found a place right beside the train station and it's also giving us a chance to kind of get away from like the group of people following us. Okay you guys, when we said that we were hungry, like we really meant it. So we've ordered ourselves a feast. <laughs> So much food. So we got like the, we got like a tally set, which just comes with like all the things you would need for a meal and a nice person-sized portion. Although let's be honest, this is enough food for two people. <laughs> rice, some sort of milky yogurt. It looks like a like almost like a rice pudding. Bread. I don't I don't think it's roti, but I'm gonna call it roti because that's the best name that I have for it. Looks good. Some sort of curry. I know these are vegetables. This is paneer. And then this is salad. Oh, and this is dessert. It's like a sweet ball with syrup on it. So we got six of these each. That's, this is enough food for a whole family. And also this was 220 rupees, which is like just under four dollars Canadian. Also, since coming to India, we've become big fans of paneer. So this is great because there's paneer here. Delicious. Asked us where we're from, and we said Canada. And he said, "Oh, from Justin Bieber." Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Namaste. I am with the two beautiful guys from Justin Bieber. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys. This is our home for the next couple of nights. Welcome. It's actually a really big space. We've got the bed area, a desk, which is great for us because we do lots of stuff on our computer. We each have a side table, such a treat. Little table and chairs, nice big old window that looks out to the neighbors. We have got, of course, a TV on this, like, it's almost like a mantle, hey? Like, how beautiful is this archway tile thing? Anyways, I think it's quite nice. And then we've got a little kitchenette. So we just got like an electric stove, a kettle, toaster, microwave, fridge, and then I'll show you the washroom. So. Nice, like a deep sink. There is a hot water tank, so we are gonna get warm water. Regular Western style toilet. And a shower with a door, which is awesome. Okay, and then we've got the air conditioner, the almighty air conditioner. We need air conditioning here. I think the last thing to show you is, ba -da -ba -da, balcony. It's a little too hot to hang out here all the time, but I think we'll come out here occasionally, remember that we're in India, and then go back inside where we get reprieved from the hot. The space is actually really, really nice. They just opened up like two months ago. It's owned by like a small family with a super cute kid. They're so sweet. 
The name of the place is called Gem Suites. Um, look them up. They're right beside the train station in Jaipur if you're interested in finding a really nice little accommodation. Yeah, we can actually, we'll put the description in the link down below, um, or a link to the description down below in case you want to check them out. So that's a wrap on the first class train ride from Agra to Jaipur. Mm. It was a good one. Yeah, it was actually really good. I'm glad that we tried first class. It was such a treat to be in the sleeper and get a real good nap in. <laughs> if you guys like this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button because we got lots of cool adventures coming up next. In our next video, we'll be exploring Jaipur. Yes, we will catch you there.